This is a good conversation because I ain't dating you unless you got kids. You mm -hmm. got to have one, maybe two, two, you know, because for one, everybody's for one. But I just like women that have kids. And somebody asked me on uh, Instagram, why they got to have kids? Because women with kids have structure. They have discipline because they have kids, you know, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, women that don't have kids, they never have snacks in the pantry. If, if I go in your refrigerator and I see some shrimp snot, I'm eating. Oh, I'm eating. Yo, he had I'm a whole eating. Meal. What? Wait a minute. Yo, that <laughs> is not top ten. What? <laughs> I'm standing at Yo. the refrigerator oh, with the door open. But you got some tiramisu in there. Butt ass naked. Butt naked, yes. Butt fucking them jaws up. Yo, butt naked shrimp eating is wild. Yeah. <laughs> So we at so we at video number three. Number three. Video, video number, number three. three. Oh. Video number three. Do you look at Nightcap? No, I don't. What's that? <laughs> oh my god! If it's gonna be, I know you look at Nightcap, bro. Yes, if it be an apocalypse, you gonna be. You ain't even gonna know. It, oh lord! You about to pay attention? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what we gonna do with her, man. Is you, that a TV show? No, grandma. No, no. <laughs> it's um. It's a podcast. It's, it's po oh, Uncle oh. Shay. You, you know, know who Uncle you know you know who Shannon Sharp is? is? Shannon Sharp? Yes, I know who that is. You know who Ocho Cinco is? Yes. Ocho? Well, they got, they they got, got a, a podcast, podcast called Nightcap. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, all yeah. right. So this is the next video we're going to react to. Ocho tells Unc about the perks of dating a woman with kids. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, let's get at it. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> it's this Jump Podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. This is a good conversation because I ain't dating you unless you got kids. You mm -hmm. got to have one, maybe two, two, you know, because for one, everybody's for one. But I just like women that have kids. And somebody asked me on uh, Instagram, why they got to have kids? Because women with kids have structure. They have discipline because they have kids, you know, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, women that don't have kids, they never have snacks in the pantry. I like to get up three, four in the morning and get a Capri Sun and steal some of the kids' snacks. And women that don't have kids don't never have no food, Unc. And you know what they always want to do? Go out and eat. But no kids always want to go out to eat and give looks <laughs> like it's a goddamn fashion show. This ain't no motherfucking fashion show. I'm hungry. <laughs> three in the morning. Capri Sun. Do you, Unc, do you know what Capri Sun tastes like at three in the morning after a session? Nah, hopefully I'm sleeping at 3 a.m. Now you, you ain't hear me. Oh, I have a Do you know? Oh, yes, yeah, oh. man. I have a yeah, Ojo. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you something. I, I ain't trying to be funny. Please tell me you had a honey bun in the microwave. Warm it up. Warm it up for twelve seconds. Nice and hot with a Capri Sun. No, no, I a, a, a zebra zebra cake. Oh, no, I love them zebra cakes. Yeah, I have zebra cakes. Uh, I don't like to eat after one of them sessions. I I I just want something cool. Come heart beating real fast. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I understand. I, well, for me, for me, I purposely, first time, and I, I can tell you a story because, Chad, we family. I can tell you. I was dating a woman. She was about, I mean, I, I was probably 27 at the time. And she, she, you know, she had kids. You know, she mm -hmm. was uh, about 53. She was 53. I was 27, 20. Yeah, she was about 53. You know, I stayed at night and, you know, whatever. And it was time to go. She woke me up 3 in the morning and say. Uh, baby, you got to go. You know, you can't, you can't stay here. I say, what you mean? I say, you, you came here and, and you did your business and what you need to do. Now I'm going to give you a snack and a Capri Sun, but you got to go. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, yeah. I I did the walk of shame with food. At least she let, she, she kicked me out with food. <laughs> now I felt bad, but at least she sent me home with something to eat and something on my yeah. stomach. Now a single woman, no food, no nothing. I'm just talking about my experiences. Hey, we, yeah. we want to go. Hey, we want to go eat. That's and that. That's happened. That's happened. They, they, they want to put that shit on. Yeah, what? Is it true? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you, know, you, you got they got they them women with them kids. Now listen, I'm stack sneaking. I do agree in certain ways because women with kids, norm women that with kids that they take care of. That's mm -hmm. a that's a caveat. Oh, damn, he went. He so went as long there. as you're taking care of them, which most of them do, they got stuff to do. So they not gonna call me on random days at random times. Let's go to the rooftop, get some drinks, <laughs> bro. Now I don't have no problems with that, but consistently, like I am an entrepreneur, I have a real job also. A, a corporate job so i'm busy 
I don't have time to sit on the rooftop every two days. I got stuff to do. Okay, let's go to let's go to get some uh, hollaback hookah Wednesday. No, no, I got stuff to do. Oh, he said hollaback hookah. Yeah, like, come on. So like, I do uh, understand. I do agree. Like uh, some. In my experience, the women who ha I've, I've dealt with that did not have kids, they always wanted to do something. And it's like, all right, I'm not saying that we got a Netflix because, and chill. Probably because they have that free time. I so. get it, but I, I'm not saying we got a Netflix and chill. We ain't got to go to my crib or your crib. But we could just go outside. We could go sit on the step and just right. bust it up or something or go to a park. And like, we, it ain't always got to be an extravaganza. You know, because it always seems that every time that you want to go do something, it, it comes down to you spending money. Yes. Right. Like, we can't just chill. It, it, right. it always has to be me just spending money. But Tom, the, and that shit gets is tiring a, is, sometimes. You know what, Nana, the women about to not like me again because to me, spending time doesn't necessarily always mean spending money because but what about what it seems a walk, to come to. Like, you could just go to the park. Like, and I know a lot of people know about how they do here in Philly down on Columbus Boulevard. They be having the... Um, the Spruce Street uh, yeah, Harbor Yeah, yeah. Spruce Harbor Park. Yeah, that Harbor stuff park. be down there free. You can sit on, like, on the, uh, the cabanas and stuff like that. Like, come Come on. So everything, just spending time isn't always. And another thing is that sometimes meet the guy where he at. If you see he busy, you can, ladies, pay attention. You can spend time with him by helping him. If he's trying to, if he's busy, like let's just say, CJ said, CJ just said he's an entrepreneur. If he's busy from work and being an entrepreneur, if you're trying to spend time with him, okay. What can I do to help you? Be of some value. Yeah, you can you can go over here and meet me in this closet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me, let me dick you down real quick. And, here, and, then, and then go look, about your business. Look, that comes after the fact. Here, here's my thing. I'm cool with spending money. I don't that's not an issue for me. But if you wanna if you always want me if you always want to do something that involves spending money, then you better be damn sure able. To do something that helps me make money. Right. And that's where a lot of women, that's why they, that's where they fall off the cliff. You can tell me all the places, again, hookah Wednesdays, tequila Tuesdays and all this, but you can, and when do you have any value where you say, you know what, yo, listen, oh, you do, uh, you write poetry? Well, listen, it's this app that you can put your poetry up and people can buy it. Like, it can be anything small. Yeah, but also but at the same time. You want to spend the money, but you never want to. Men don't, have don't any always idea. have to be the one to spend the money, ladies. Sometimes we can treat the guys too. Or is that just too much like great? No. We got T.Y. in the building. Yeah. Hey. Like uh, T.Y. in the building. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. And shout out to L Boogie. First what L Boogie say? Yeah. A lot of women with kids ain't got no structure in the home and got them badass <laughs> kids. That's number one. Yes. If you got if you got some badass kids, you shouldn't even be dating. Hey, look. Get your damn household together. Hey, look, you trying to walk around naked, a kid walking around naked. <laughs> you come sneaking in like, oh, I'm about to say, what the hell? Who, who's that? Oh, oh that's, so my, that's my son. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> T.Y. said, she said, I had a guy constantly saying, hey, I'll help you with this when I come over. But the guys, the guys get accustomed to that. And now taking me out is not as important. He's like, damn, can I get a, a date or something? So, therefore, you was talking to his representative, T.Y. That's what that was. And after the that second time, him. and after the second time that, that man told him. you he was going to help you, he ain't help you, his ass should have never came right. back. Right. Yeah, it yeah, you, yeah, I mean. You got you to gotta learn who you're dealing with. That's all that shit. Let me tell you something. Yeah, you said you constantly helping, but, like, therefore, at the end of the day, if you helping him, like, what are you helping him with? Because if you obviously see that he's not doing nothing for you or he's not meeting you halfway, you need to just let him go. And and, and if you constantly help him, do you see any evolution? Because there's difference between working and a hobby. And a lot of people mix them up. Oh, I got this mm -hmm. business. Oh, I got this business. I got this business. They tell you that all the time. Oh, I got this LLC. Yeah, just because you got an LLC, LLC don't mean you got a business. Uh -huh. you, you might have it on paper, but you don't actually have a business. You have a hobby. Because right. if you have a business, you work on it every day. Right. Every day I go home, I'm working on my business. Right. I'm not just saying, oh, I got I got this uh, real estate business, but you yeah, only do it on Tuesdays and Saturdays. No, no, no. You, gotta you got a real estate business, but Look. you ain't real estate. You gotta do something, even if it's something little, yeah. every day. Like, come on, like, yeah. I just be. It's like you gotta see it's evolution. A yeah, it's not, so, I'm not saying it's easy, but you gotta see right? what people gotta put in. Consistency is the key. Even with this mm -hmm. podcast, is we have to come here every week. 
We can't just say, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. Business. We got to come here and put the work in. Yeah, but y'all don't also see the work that gets done behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Right. Yeah. Cause trust me, I, I I do the editing and I be butt naked. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> Wait a minute, I hope you don't be butt naked Whoa. in this chair that I'm sitting in. <laughs> huh. 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 Hey, you want me to you, you, you want me to tell you, <laughs> or you want to figure it out for yourself? <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, it might be a new a new oh, work stream, no. a new stream of income. <laughs> yeah, but, over there. Butt over naked there. editing. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, oh. hey, ladies, if you wanna, uh, you know how they got. Oh, they ain't talking to this mic today. You, you know how they got hot yoga. Hey, ladies, if you if you, if you're a content creator and you want to do some butt naked editing, come oh, over God. to Lucy's studio. <laughs> New stream of income. <laughs> New stream of income. Goddamn. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean. You- Tell you what they're talking about. <laughs> why does why does Mike smell so funny? <laughs> Huh. New income oh with a nice God. outcome. God damn it. New income with a nice outcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let's go to the first comment. So the first comment says, "Me with no kids and no snacks." Um, damn, and, you, and you know what? What that mouth do? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no kids and no snacks. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Cause I, listen, I ain't gonna. I have stole a bunch of kids' snacks on Monday. I'm sure. Let's what? See. Hell yeah, the month with the gummy bears. See, I never really when I was younger before before the, I had the 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 the, 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 the juju fruits. Oh, when I, before so I was my thing, before I had kids, everybody I didn't mess with eats without different. Kids. Remember kids. So I'm the type of person I'm like like if I know you coming over and I know what you eat, I'm gonna make sure I'm I'm gonna fill up with whatever you eat. So that way, when you here, you got something that you like to drink. You got a little bit of variety of that. You got a little bit of variety of the snacks. And you gonna have some food. Yeah, I'm saying, listen, hey. baby, I'm going to eat that Gucci. Oh, <laughs> make sure I make sure my Gatorade nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> he said I don't need nothing in the cabinet. <laughs> I ain't, oh, you, I ain't oh, nothing in them cabinets. I said, girl, oh, you thought I said pantry? No, I said panties. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get them tacos ready. Yeah, hey, I need to get them sideways tacos ready. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's go to the next, so next comment. Next comment says Capri Suns at 3 a.m. after a session is wild. That is oh. wild. Yeah, I don't man, look, when you thirsty, you I don't drink want the, no goddamn shit, Capri Sun. I'm a grown man. Okay? <laughs> look, get so, me a. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I used to hide the snacks, my kids' snacks, in my room because they used to eat them. So, like, certain snacks especially with, yeah. when it was the snacks like they had to pack for lunch i would have in my closet and i had like a like a mini fridge in my closet okay. too so it would be times like that, that three o'clock when those juices start flowing oh my gosh i don't know what it is about me in the middle of the night but it's something about me in the middle of the night oh wait a minute i'm, t- I'm telling too much but <laughs> Them little juices. The night, she may wake up a little horny. Them so. little What's juices. Instagram? Look, oh my. look for them old white men. You don't need to know why Instagram. I ain't on Instagram. <laughs> What's your Facebook? I DM is either. about to be. <laughs> <laughs> like pop, pop, popcorn. Oh gosh, look. Them juices is the truth. Them snacks is like. Juices you talking yeah. about. Look, both of them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. right, okay. The warm look. juices and the cold juices. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Let's oh, my Lord, this joint after the dark. congregation say amen. <laughs> Let's go. Next comment. Next comment says, that's my baby's food and drink. Do not go in those cabinets. Well, you better have something for my me bitch. then. Because I went over in them already. <laughs> oh, goodness Listen. gracious. Okay, if you don't want me to eat them um, them uh, Teddy Graham Graham Cracker John, you better have something in there for me. Okay? Or they getting eight. Yeah. Pop tart, son. What? Let me tell you something, man. I'm taking them, kid. I don't give a fuck about your child. I'm a healthy eater. I, I go in the refrigerator. I want the grapes. <laughs> give me the grapes, and you know, I, you keep the teddy. You man. haven't always been like that, though. I'm pretty sure at some point you used to like them snacks. CJ. Oh, yeah. When listen, when I was younger, yeah, of course. It, it, I said, give me the teddy grams. They in here. <laughs> if if I go in your refrigerator and I see some shrimp snot, I'm eating. Oh, I'm eating. Yeah. Yo, he had I'm a whole eating. Meal. What? Wait a minute. Yo, <laughs> he eating the top ten. What? I'm standing at Yo. the refrigerator oh, with the door open. But you got some tear in the Butt naked, butt naked <laughs> yes. Butt fucking them jaws sh- up. Yo, butt naked shrimp eating is wild. Yeah. <laughs> he like what? this with the swing out. <laughs> Swinging. With the, I'm dipping in the marinara Yo. sauce and everything. Oh, Yo. Yeah. 
Hey, no. look, look at this it's thing. something. It's something about eating out the refrigerator butt naked in the middle of the night, especially you know, when yeah. you know the kids ain't it's asleep. Captivating. Oh my god! I've never done you know that. <laughs> man, yeah, a different man. life. <laughs> that shit. Look, let me, let me tell you. I've done some. I I, I killed this one girl. Her, her <laughs> child snacks. And then I was trying to wash my mouth out in the sink because I ain't want her to smell the Doritos. And all that stuff. Oh God! <laughs> Yo! So wait a minute, you Yo. killed a bag of Doritos that quick? That's crazy. Fucking yeah! Oh, the, the little bags. That's man, crazy. I pop some doors, man. I bang. I, you could bang like three or four bags before she even wake oh, up. Oh my gosh! I'm fucking them doors up, man. Don't play with loose. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Cooking them. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Yeah, man.